three methods of gathering food. Right now, what you can see in my four frames. I'll give you i give you a minute to think about that. Good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from the great state of Maine. Welcome to my shop today. I'm finishing up uh, my eel pots, eel traps. <laughs> I have three more to go. <laughs> Figured I'd bring you guys along. Trying to kill two birds with one stone. I need to make a few videos for you guys because I will be headed up to the cabin to put out all these traps and start lake trout fishing. A lot of background noise today. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for it. Sometimes I just have to do videos right here. Depending on what I'm working on. But I will say this, in this picture right now, you'll see there is three methods of gathering food. Right now, what you can see in my four frames. I'll give you I'll give you a minute to think about that. Dump it in the comments if you figure it out. The three methods that you see right now in this in this picture. I'll give you a hint. Firearms will be one of them. The other one is these eel traps. That's number two. The third one is that fish house you see behind me. I am still eating the fish but that fish house Helped me catch last winter. It's going to feed me all next week. The fish that I caught out of that fish house. I just said in the video before, groceries this week for me has cost a little more than $10. I cooked a meal last week that I will finish up the end of this weekend. So that means on Sunday I will cook again and that means I will eat next week for ten dollars or less, probably less than ten dollars next week. What I'm going to eat next week is Sunday I'm going to be baking two fish pies out of the bass 
that we caught last winter. I will probably put in at least, well, I'll, I'll say two bass, a bass per pie. And that'll be a lot of fish. That'll be a lot of fish in that fish pie. It's not hard, not difficult. The recipe is very simple. And it's very, very good. It's, it's actually, it's a salmon recipe. You know, if you were making a salmon pie. But like anything, you can change out the fish. Now how I'm going to do this one. Why are we cutting down how much we cost per week to eat? Well, they keep telling me the price of groceries is going up. You know what I say to that? <laughs> Not going up in my house. All right. Well, I, I do need to buy one ingredient that I don't have on hand. And it's going to cost $4. How you make this pie is with spinach, green, I mean cream cheese, salt and pepper, a little bit of water, and for me this week's going to be bass. So anyways, in a frying pan, you, 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 you don't put any water in the frying pan, you just put your spinach in. And we're going to buy a pound of spinach, that costs $4 right now, which is a ridiculous amount to pay. But my wife was able to find it a little bit cheaper. It was $8 at the regular grocery store. So she found it for $4. Anyway, so I'll, we'll have that here for the weekend. You throw the spinach in your frying pan. You throw in a half a stick of cream cheese. And get that simmering. And it'll simmer down so you can stir it all together. You don't want to overcook the, the spinach, but you do want to cook it so it's soft. You'll see it'll all stir up in the frying pan. Throw in your salt, throw in your pepper. And, and, and again, right here, you could throw in anything if you wanted. You could throw in some potatoes. Uh, I would probably do the potatoes ahead of time so that they were soft. You know, if you want in there, you could throw in, before you put your spinach in, throw in, your, throw in some potatoes, dice them up, get them going. Maybe even some peas, anything like that. And then put your spinach in, then put your cream cheese in and get all that marinating together. And then from there, uh, turn it off, you're done with that part of the pie. And then you take, well, what I'm going to do with these bass, now you could put the bass in uh, whole, raw, uh, you know, cubed up. You want them cubed up like you were making fish nuggets. But I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up my fish nugget batter. And I'm going to deep fry the bass ahead of time. Then take them off and set them aside. And you can put this all together hot. It doesn't matter. As soon as they come out of the deep fryer, you're good to go. Everything is all pre-cooked. So in a 9-inch pie plate, you, you lay down the spinach mixture and vegetables, whatever you put together in that frying pan. You put that in your pie plate. Uh, it could be, <laughs> like I said, it could be half full. You know, put down. I'll be making two pies, so because I want to do it one shot and be done with it. So you lay down this spinach mixture, and then on top of that, lay down a layer of your uh, fish nuggets, right on top of the spinach. And then on top of that, uh, now you can uh, lay down some uh, a pie crust or whatever. But I believe what I'm going to do is to, so I can pour, I, I like creamy things. So I think what I'm going to do is make some kind of a sauce. Uh, it, it'll, be, it'll be with spices, you know, my different spices and all of that, water. And then it will be cornstarch so I can make up a cornstarch sauce. 
uh, whatever you know like I said I, you can <laughs> this is your imagination as long as it tastes good it will be good then pour that over my fish and then put my pie crust over the top of that there's no bottom layer pie crust here that's what keep it simple stupid is uh, you can, and making a pie crust is only four ingredients or you can go to the grocery store and buy one whatever you want or you could use a biscuit mix you anything that you could roll out to a pie crust will work for a pie crust on this meal and then roll that over the top of your pie plate drill a hole in the center of it about one inch so you can let the steam out without blowing up the pie put it in the oven for 30 minutes and you got yourself a fish pie so that's what I'll be building this Sunday for next week's meals if you want to know what East Grand will be eating and that's it so if I spend money on the spinach this meal will have cost me four dollars and uh, we've got the cream cheese on hand so but whatever whatever cream cheese costs <laughs> I don't go to the grocery store so I couldn't tell you uh, I know we have it on hand all the time so it's not one of them things that I, 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 I lay around thinking about But that's what I will be eating this week. And that is, and uh, again, simple. Yeah, super, super simple. What I do is I make up, when I make up, uh, you can keep a pie crust, and it's wicked easy. That's why I, I don't, uh, that's why I, I, it's just wicked easy to make the pie crust four ingredients now you might not have the best flakiest pie crust there is but we're talking we're talking camp cooking camp eating uh, all you gotta do is for, for me there's another recipe that I use for that pie crust as well that is uh, oh what's that stuff uh, Bannock Canadian recipe I, I even a biscuit dough uh, talk about super simple I think there's only about three ingredients for that I've got a video it's my bread video that you see in my I'm gonna be putting that I'm, I'm building a playlist right now that you guys might enjoy but I'll have that bannock bread in there but you can roll out that bannock recipe to uh, a quarter of an inch and then roll that across the top of your pie now you don't have a pie crust, but what you got is this really, really nice biscuit crust. Which, if you're a hungry woodsman, uh, that's a pretty good thing. And you can do that with, uh, oh, I don't, I don't spend the money on that stuff, but uh, Bisquick. Bisquick, you can do the same thing. You just make up, make up a biscuit batter out of a box of Bisquick, and then you just don't roll it. You don't want a half inch. You you actually want a quarter inch or less. Because if you if you do a half inch uh, pie crust out of out of Bisquick or out of Bannock, you'll have you'll have a crust on top of that pie about that tall because it'll 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 rise <laughs> but that's what makes it such a good crust for at camp well, like that because it's a meal you know what I mean it's you know you got you'll have a quarter inch you'll still have you'll still have a a, a, a pretty tall biscuit on, on top of that on top of that pie well there's another one So let's have a cup of coffee. 
Thank you for coming along. I've got two more buckets to go. And I will see you next week.